former Prime Minister. How do we know you're doing your job? How can, we, how can the members of the public out there, you as head of propriety and ethics, how do they know you're doing your job? Look at his face. He looks ready to explode. Absolutely, wasn't he? That was Darren Turner, Director General of Propriety and Ethics. Yeah, for this government there. Who knew? Well, I'll learn a do up your all well and a do up your all had a fantastic weekend. Sit back, watch himself and Cabinet Secretary Simon Case getting an absolute shellacking from Labour's John McDonnell about past improprieties from past Prime Ministers. I think we know which one we're on about most. Anyway, I shall leave a link of the live stream I did of this Public Administration and Constitution Affairs Committee meeting as well. Get your popcorn out. Mr Tierney, <clears throat> as you're the person responsible for propriety and ethics advice, <clears throat> so do you advise the Prime Minister on the propriety and ethics of his behaviour in relation to things like the honours list? Uh, sorry, which Prime Minister are you talking about? Any Prime Minister. Uh, and did you in the past? So, in relation to who they, who he in nominated for In relation to resident. how they behave, on the, for example, on the, their engagement in the honours list nominations. Um, yes. So, by, by definition, though, by the time they've issued the resignation list, they're no longer the prime right. minister. Um, but um, I've advised both former prime ministers uh, in, uh, in my time in this office on. Uh, all those issues, yes. More generally then, as you're responsible for propriety and ethics in government, you will advise the Prime Minister about their behaviour, the propriety and ethics of their behaviour? Uh, where, where required, yes. Have you? In recent past? Have there been many examples where you've intervened in that way in the recent past? There have been some examples. I'm not going to go through uh, what they are. Um, Why not? Because I, don't, I you know, previously said to this committee, we're not gonna, I'm not going to talk about individual cases um, or, Why not? or casework. Why not? Isn't that about accountability? You, what's the point of you coming here if you haven't, can't tell us the examples of where you've intervened? I think when I first came here two and a half years ago, we agreed with the chair that I uh, wouldn't get into um, casework. And I could talk about uh, Things have the moved overall on framework. Since then, though, haven't um, they? And the confidence in government overall and standards in public life have somewhat been <coughs> shattered, haven't they? So things have moved on since then. So why can't you say, this is how I do my job, this is how I've intervened with the most senior person in government because I felt ha I had to? I'm not going to disclose conversations I had with the Prime Minister, the former Prime Minister. How do we know you're doing your job? How can, we, how can the members of the public out there, you as head of propriety and ethics, how do they know you're doing your job? Apart look at his face. He looks ready to explode. <laughs> he, look at his face. He looks ready. He wants to drag John McDonnell over that town and absolutely knock him clean out, do not he? What are you telling us, but without giving us any detail? No, I think, Mr McDonald, there's a... There's, um... Particularly on this resignation on this question, there is uh, just generally. I'm taking it from generally. What, what you know, I think you know what you're suggesting is that officials need to start taking responsibility for the acts of elected no. No, no, that's politicians. From it. That's exactly and, what I'm you know, not we, saying. We that. have been clear in a number of instances. Mr. Case, that's exactly what I'm not saying. Oh, fine. Then I'm I saying that you have responsibilities. Mr. Tenney has a responsibility. And this is his job title for propriety and ethics in government. And therefore, all we want to know as a committee, how are you doing your job? Give us examples of how you've been effective in that role, because actually at the moment, out there, a lot of people don't believe a word a politician or civil servant says at the moment because of our recent history. And this is an important period in which we can reassert good governance. And we just need to be open and transparent about so that. So why don't I give you one particular example, um, which, uh, you know, which, which has worked where, um, you know... Don't try too hard, Simon Case. I think, I think steam are coming out of his ears and we're looking up for heavens for divine intervention there, were not it? On, on appointment to this Prime Minister, we advised that he should appoint an independent advisor the post having been gapped for some time, and the Prime Minister, as you know, accepted that advice and has appointed an advisor to make sure that one of the important planks of that system that you're describing was put back after a gap. I wasn't absolutely brilliant. An absolute joy to behold. I thought John McDonnell was absolutely spot on and also absolutely brilliant. And Darren Turney's face, 
spoke volumes, didn't it? But what do you guys think? Let me know down below. And if you made it this far and enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Always helps. And if you're new to my channel, enjoy stuff from House of Commons to select committee meetings and all of other raft of political other things, please subscribe. What I'm going to do. And I shall bid you farewell and take care, my friends.